Now I am introducing bidding management system. Bid management system is fully cloud based software. The bidder can bid on several items, whatever is electronic, apparel, farming, motor vehicles, and real estate, etc. There are four accounts in this system admin admin assigned as a super user and has full access for the bed management system admin module contain admin id changing of name address contact number changing in reseller bidder and consigner profile admin has all bidding process rights bidder the bidder has some special rights like they have to see the bidding list and uh, ongoing progress system also access to the upcoming bidding access for a particular profile like an invoice bid activity history outstanding pending paid and failure invoice and watch list the bidding process is running a real time also database update in real time to for the user reseller reseller can be added consigner who has main product they can add added and remove consigner also reseller module contain on our bid management process consigner list bidder list auction process ongoing auctions and consigner or bidder reports consigner reseller can be added consigner who has the main product they can add added or remove consigner also reseller modules contain on our bid management process consigner list bidder list auction process ongoing auction and consigner or bid reports now let's come to software demo so first you can see the admin panel login screen if uh, I type the ID and password and then click the login now on the next screen you can see the main dashboard screen which is showing the reseller sub account consigner bidder auction categories auction running auction report system process log and lots of galleries and uh, in this you can there are 14 total user 3 total consigner 4 total reseller 1 run an auction here you can see the graph of auction registrar in 6 month in this graph you can see there are 6 auction registrar in the month of August and uh, here you can see there are 5 bidder which are recently added it is showing 3 reseller profiles now come to next option reseller add here you can see the multiple fields like uh, uh, status uh, checkbox and legal name legal address legal city legal status zip code legal phone number legal fax number legal te uh, federal tax id and uh, now come to next the principal first name principal last name principal cell phone number principal email after you can click the checkbox of DBA information is the same as above now come to DBA name DBA contact first name contact last name and uh, address city status zip code phone number DBA fax number DBA email after select your preferred destination for each option ship to legal address ship to DBA address mail to legal mail to DBA bill to legal bill to DBA now next uh, uh, reseller email to be used for reseller user login reseller website subdomain for reseller upload the reseller logo elite silver package percentage elite gold package percentage elite platinum package percentage buyer plat premium per, uh, surcharge percentage credit card surcharge percentage ACS surcharge percentage please select, uh, select your interest goat, donkey, cattle, sheep, pig and uh, equipment after fill up the entry essential field you just have to save the records now come to sub account in sub account you can see all the lists of sub account including first name last name email assigned role status and added or delete of any of them here we can also put the search field per page entries drop down from show the entries per page and uh, form delete you can delete the sub account now come to next option consigner admin can view the list of consigner including consigner name city state zip logo and uh, here you can view your profile added uh, or delete as well here also put search field and per page entries drop down or uh, if uh, profile you can just view your profile 
including company logo all legal information all db information all principal information all contact information mailing information and bank information bidder profile here you can see the bidder information including uh, first name last name address city state zip code phone number email li uh, driver license number dl state date of birth and here you can see the alert and interest including alert type like auction posted ending soon lot of one out of bid alert matter like email or sms and interest by click uh, add in profile you can edit your profile including first name last name email phone number address city state zip code date of birth license number license state current profile picture update and um, update password current password new password confirm button and then save it now next by clicking edit alert interest you can edit alert information section and then click on update button by uh, click uh, added uh, click added payment method that it is debit card or credit card or bank account here you can also add a new credit card and by click add new card here you can fill the form including like company first name last name address city state zip code phone number email address card number expiry date cvc code and then click on continue it will add your card and by clicking on add new bank account you can add your new account by adding the fields including com company first name last name address city zip code state phone number provide your checking account information account name on account routing number checking account number re inter checking number and bank number account type and entity types and then click continue to save the records by clicking suspending you can just suspending or unsuspending bidder now next come to auction categories here you can category list and category add if i click category list including fields like category name created active or added or delete any category here we put all so search fields and per page entry drop down shown number of entries 10 25 50 100 and all entries if uh, i click add category here you can see the active checkbox and category name now then click on save button now next come auction here you can see the auction list and auction ad if i click the auction list here you can see the f in f some fields including like auction name category start time end time logo lots active status and uh, here we also put search fields and per page entries drop down in detail tab it will show the details of auctions and in lots of tab are the list of lots of tab here you can see the details of auction list and uh, here you can see the lots of list including lots of name category package consigner starting bidding and active in lots of list we also put search fields and per page drop entries now come to auction ad here you can see the auction name consigner that applier uh, sellers primary sales representative secondary sales representative service packages commission rates buyer premium percentage credit card surcharge acs surcharge auction times auction style auto extend time uh, start date time end time zone category add description of auction and uh, notes special terms and conditions then choose the logo file and if i choosing this box uh, 
display the auction logo and events time in calendar of events however bidder will not be able to see auction or lots details and if I choosing this box immediately remove all bidder functionality rem from an auction and pause the countdown timers and broadcast messages as required after fill the all giving essential fields then click the save button now come to run an auction there are only those auction which are in progress and now come to reports under the reports you can see the pending settlements settlements in wise update fields in wise history now come to pendle settlement it contain from and to and consigner name auction number of items pending settlement amount pen, uh, pending settlement dates and you can see also the reports and uh, search you can file the format either it is excel csv and pdf format in settlement contain from to and to settlement id and settlement date settlement amount consigner auction name auction and date and in search you can search file format either it excel csv or pdf by clicking on report you can see detail of closed auction you can also check the invoice for specific entry now next come to invoice update fields including invoice uh, number total lots invoice status invoice status date due date due amount invoice date and um, search reporting include invoice data and lots data having all the information now comes to invoice history show all the invoice history including fields like in number of uh, invoice invoice status bidder name lots number of number of lots auction name and uh, amount due due date and search option and by clicking on invoice uh, is show all information regarding the payment criteria also by clicking on manage have information like uh, uh, acceptance management reject management manual payment management finance charge management and return payment fee management and now come to history it will show either this invoice is paid or unpaid come to system process including pending settlement process pending invoice update finance charge process now come to log here you can pending gateway logs payment log and database log and URL log if I come to payment log payment log have two tabs user and consigner user include name email phone city state license number type and search option if I click the register payment tab here you can see the uh, IP method type uh, transaction ID transaction response transaction type amount date and search and now next I, if I claim, uh, click the add tab here you can see the same process field as register has now come to remove pa tab invoice payment log include same field has same register now next tab is in uh, come to consigner here you can see the name phone city state text id and search option and uh, registration added and remove here you can see the registration tab include ip method type transaction ID transaction response transaction type amount date and search option and next option is add here add tab uh, log include same field as register has and now next tab is remove invoice payment log include same field as register has now next uh, come to database log database log include uh, username action and created on and search option is also included and now next come to URL log 
URL log include username, total hits, page number, page URL and searches option is also included. Now complete the admin panel. Other panel is completed. We have further panel like reseller, bidder and consigner panel. So we describe uh, reseller panel. Now come to the reseller panel. Now second part of the bidder management system is reseller panel. Here is a main login screen. You just have to sign in with your reseller account and password credential. Pa now on the next screen you can see the main dashboard screen which is auction list and the sub account consigner bidder auction auction in progress and reports and lots of galleries in this you can see the 21 total bidders one total consigner six total auction one run in auction and here is a graph of auction register during a six month in this graph you can see there are six uh, auction registered in a month of August and here you can see the five bidder which is already added now come to the auction list here you can see the auction in progress and uh, upcoming auction view pass auction and if you click any auction it will give you the details of the auctions here you can see the details of the auction list now next come to sub account in the sub account you can see all the list of sub account including the first name sign role like representative and status it's verified or not verified and you can edit or delete any of it and search according to your requirement now next come to consigner here you can see the consigner list and add consigner if I click the consigner list reseller can view the list of consigner including the consigner name city state zip logo and here you can edit your profile or delete as well in you pro in your profile option you can view the profile including the field below and also can edit profile here you can see the multiple information first of all legal information like legal name legal address city state zip code legal phone number legal fax number federal tax id website and now next dba information like uh, dba name dba address city state zip code dba phone number dba fax number and principal information like first name last name cell phone email address contact information first name last name cell phone number email address mailing information uh, mail to legal address mail to DBA address category like God shape donkey pig cattle equipment bank account information like name on account routing number checking number and rechecking account number bank name account type in infinity type and then click on continue button now next come to the auction here you can two option auction list and auction add if I click the auction list you can view a list of auction including the auction name category start time and time log lots active status and here we also put the search field and per page entries uh, if I click the detail option here you can see the auction details like auction name consigner that apply primary resale representative secondary resale representative service package commission rate buyer commission services credit card surcharge A ACH surcharge auction type auction style or or auto extend time start date time end time time select the categories auction description and notes here type the special terms and condition and uh, auction logo auction view settings auction actions and broadcast messages next pan uh, next option is lot tab here you can see the list of lot including the lot number category can sign uh, starting bidding reserve by on a by it now images uh, and uh, details uh, we also put the search field included now 
now next come if I click the auction add here you can uh, add a new auction by adding fields like auction name consigner but apply primary sales representative secondary sales representative service packages commission rate buyer and uh, premium and credit card surcharge ACS surcharge auction types auction style auto extend time start date time end time time zone category uh, auction description notes special term and condition and uh, auction logo after fill up their entry essential fee you just have to save the records next in auction in progress tab you will just see the which auction are in progress next reports under the reports you can multiple panels like builder active history assessment reports summaries invoice settlements and get here you can see the under summaries in progress auction and close auction summaries under the invoice you can see the outstanding invoice, pending invoice, paid invoice, failed invoice and invoice history and under the settlements you can see the pending settlements or settlements and GACT, GACT review report and GACT result report if I click the bid activity history it show the list of history containing like auction name, date, consignal, number of lots, lots of sold, lots of unsold, lo uh, dollar, lots sold, number of bidders, total number of bids, maximum bids. And uh, under the assessment reports, here you can see the assessment reports on the basis of month, category, consigner and uh, the click on go next under the summary in this summary you can see in progress auction summary and close summary if I click the in progress auction here you can see the in progress and close here you can see the close auction summary it now come to invoices if I click outstanding invoices here you can see the search fields uh, as your requirement and uh, here you can see the invoices number bidder name lots number of lots auction name balance due amount due date and invoices tab and manage tab this is the invoices slip you can also print and generate PDF file and uh, next invoices management here you can see the all the information of the ma invoices management and now next come to invoice pending invoice here you can see same fields like invoice number bidding name number of lots auction name payment amount pending payment submission date expected paid date and next uh, paid invoice here you can see in the same fields like invoice number, bidder name, number of lots, auction name, paid uh, amount and paid date, invoice and manage tabs and now come to failed invoice. Here you can also the same fields like invoice number, bidder name, lots of number, auction name, invoice reject amount, invoice reject received amount, due date, invoice reject types. Here you can invoice history you can also search the invoice number invoice status bidder name number of lots auction name amount due due date and uh, invoice manage and history tabs here you can s now next come to the settlements if i click the pending settlements contain from to and to and consigner auction number of item pending settlement amount pending settlement dates and uh, reports tab here you can see the all the information of the rep in the reports like close auction details lots adjustment and settlement now if i click the settlement here you can see 
the settlement ID, settlement date, settlement amount, consigner, auction name, auction and date and uh, search you can search file format either it's excel, csv and pdf and by clicking on report you can see a uh, detail of close auction and uh, now next come to close auction including like uh, number of lots, lot status, bidder name, lots, sold amount, commission amount, consigner accepted, due consigner, settlement amount, settlement date, pending settlement amount, pending settlement date and approve. Now come to GACT. In GACT uh, you can see the GACT review reports and GACT uh, result report. If I click the GACT review report here you can see the including field like GIAC item reference ID, date submitted, first name, last name, customer con response code, consumer alert code and reviewed. You can also search the entries and uh, now come to the GIAC result report. Here you can see the GIAC total result report including fields like GIAC item reference ID, day submitted, GIAC services, first name, last name, customer response code, consumer alert code, account response code and EZ to bid decision, approved or disapproved or review. Now reseller panel is ended and bidder panel is started on third part of the bidding management system. After the login you can see the bidder panel. Here you can see the account and if I click the account there are a bidder information invoices and bid history here you can see in bidder information your first name last name address city state zip code phone now come to alert and interest here you can see alert type alert method and interest and by clicking on edit profile you can edit your profile including first name, last name, email, phone, address, city, state, zip code, current profile image and uh, update password and after the fill up essential fields then click save it button and now click on added alert interest you can added uh, alert info section and then click on update button Now click added payment method. You can view your payment information either it is debit card or bank account. Here you can add a new debit card. Here you can fill up the form including company, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip code, phone number, email address and please provide your current uh, credit card information and expiry date CVV. Click the continue button and save it uh, credit card and debit card information. Now next add a new ACS bank account including field like company, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip code, phone number, address and provide the checking account information with name on account, routing number, check n account number and re-enter checking number, bank name, account type, in identity types and by clicking on invoices tab you can come manage your invoices and generating reports and clicking on history tab you can view our history including the auction name and number of lots and lots name, one lost total bids, total maximum bids and uh, your height bid uh, amount and winning bids. And from or to in which you can add dates. Now next come to auction list. You can see the auction in progress or upcoming auctions. In auction in progress there are describe of auction including the name and time that how many days are left by clicking on particular auction you can see the details regarding the auction here you can search your lots and uh, as well as you view lots by viewing lots see the description regarding the lots containing tags, sex, breeds, wire 
and uh, the description regarding the bits and uh, same as upcoming auctions you can see and uh, now come to auction in progress in this it will show all the auction which are in progress and now come to upcoming auction in this it will show all the upcoming option watch list in this you can search lots now complete the bidder panel now I have to describe the consigner panel now here you can see the fourth panel of bidder management system is consigner I will describe how to control the consigner panel uh, first of all I will introduce your account panel here you can see the under the account bidder profile and consigner profile if I click the bidder profile you can see the some fields including uh, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip code, phone number, email, alert and interest, alert type, alert method, interest. If I click the edit profile, here you can edit the edit the bidder profile, like some essential fields. Here you can see the fields, and uh, you can also the update pass password then if you click the edit alert or interest uh, you can see the alert uh, information Ab if uh, you update it then click the update now come to the invoices next option you can see the edit payment method by clicking edit payment method you can view your payment information uh, either it is a debit card or bank account here you can also add new credit card here you can fill the some fields including the company first name last name address city state zip code phone number email address and uh, provide the information of credit card then click uh, continue button now you next uh, see the add uh, a new AC8 bank account here you can add your new account by adding fields including like company, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip code, phone number, email address and uh, provide the information you are checking account. Then click the continue button to save the specific entry. By clicking on invoices tab, you can manage your invoices either it paid or unpaid and generating reports and in bidding history tab you can view your history including auction name and date lot number lot name won lost your total number of bids your total maximum number of bids your highest bid amount winning bid and uh, from or to in search in which you can add dates and here you can also the search according to your requirement but file format is excel csv and pdf now click the consigner profile here you can see the consigner profile details like legal information dba information principal information contact information mailing information and bank account information only here you can see only see the informations then click the auction list you can see the auction list like auction in progress and upcoming auction if I click the auction in progress there you can see the details regarding the auction here you can search you lots as well as view lots 
and uh, by viewing the lot see the description regarding that lot of which contain the tag sex breed date of birth number of units size dams dam size uh, you can also see the auction name and uh, time that how many days are left same as you can see the upcoming auction now next come to the auction in progress in this it will show all the auction which are in progress now come to the upcoming option here you can see the same in this it will show all the upcoming option now come to the consigner reports here you can see the upcoming auction list Uh, including the auction name, start time, and time category, service packages, status, lots, and detail tabs and lot tabs. If you click the detail tabs and lot tabs, here you can see the details. Here you can see the some fields like active check in box, auction name, consigner that apply, primary sales representative, sell, uh, secondary sales representative, services packages, commission rate, buyer commi premium percentage, credit card surcharge, ACS surcharge, auction type, auction style, auto extend time, date, start and time, and time zone category, auction description, and uh, notes, special terms and condition, and auction logo, auction view set in, and auction action and broadcast messaging here you can see the lots details auction name status start date service packages commission and number of lots lots name category starting bids uh, uh, reserves buy it now images and search filter is also available now next come to the in progress auction summary Here you can see the some fields like schedule and date, schedule and time, timing remaining, auction name, service packages, total number of lots, total current bids, total current bids, average per lots and you can also the details and reports option is available. Now come to the close auction summary. Here you can see the close auction summary including fields like auction and date, auction name, total number of lots, number of lots sold, number of lots unsold, dollars lots sold, dollar paid, dollar unpaid, commission, commission, service packages, settlement amount and detail tabs is also available and search filter is also available in file format of Excel, CSV and PDF now come to the details here you can see the some fields of like SM auction name uh, consigner that apply primary sales representative secondary sales representative service packages commission buyer commission credit card search card ACS search card auction type auction styles auto extend time date start and end time time zone category auction description notes special terms and conditions logo auction view settings auction and broadcast messages here you can see the details of close auction summary now next come to the settlement here you can see the settlement ID and settlement date settlement amount auction name auction and date and you can see the also search filters uh, and file format is Excel CSV and PDF now next come to the watch list in here you can search the any lots now we have completed all the essential panel of bidding management system if you have any query please contact us info at minimaxsolution.com thank you for watching this video